Okay, Brando's missing, which makes me very suspicious. Oh, <gasps> Brando! Put that down! Put that down right now! A pencil. Choice. She loves to be active and move around, so she needs the bigger cage. And since there's only a $50 difference, I think the bigger cage is the way. Let's do it. So do we get white or black? Black. This is why they open this door for me, because I'm an easy shopper. Hello, my fellow snippers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen. This is George. What are you doing? I'm playing with me. No. Okay. Uh, this is... <laughs> drop it. This is Jersey, and this is Nelly. And today, you are gonna like this video because our very spoiled, brattiest, annoying bird, Brando the Mustache Parakeet, is getting a new cage. You already saw that we brought the cage home, but I must admit, it's been a few days and we have not set it up because honestly, I just get... What? tired sometimes, you know? Today, we're setting up the cage. You probably saw one of Brando's cage setups. That cage ended up going to blue. You guys didn't know about that at the time because I wasn't on YouTube. Anyway, I digress. Today, we're setting up Brando's cage. Where are you going? To set up Brando's cage. Okay, what's in store for today? Merlin, what are you doing? No, Merlin. <laughs> Look at what Merlin has done to the cupboard, guys. So since we haven't actually set up the cage, a lot of birds have been flocking to it. Namely, Nelly, Ty. I uh, yeah, Ty did take it over. So um, it kind of got messy. So we're gonna start cleaning it right now and let's get to it. Before we go on, these pieces that George is picking up right now and pulling out of the cage, they are like flaps for the, the bottom. To stop the you seeds from falling into the floor. Yeah, you can use it, you don't have to use it. We always take it off. One thing is that it takes up more space on the cage. The other thing is that there's a lot more cleaning to be done with that because all the droppings and then you have to pull those off and wash them. While it may be easy for some of you, I find it much easier to like sweep and scrape the whole floor in one go. George is pulling off all the pieces. Brando has been obsessed with this bag. One of my ways of making life easy with birds is if they find something they like that keeps them busy, I'm just like, here it is. Let me keep it out for you. The first thing George wanted me to let you guys know is to always make sure you came home with all the pieces, especially if you bought it in a bird store. Sometimes there's a lot of little nuts and bolts. Obviously, you guys saw that Lloyd gave those to me. Hey, buddy, what do you think? Just because things are new doesn't mean they're clean. That's especially when you guys want to clean them. Oh my god, she came. She's so interested in what's going on. We're getting your cage ready. Is this for you? This is this your new rose? All right, guys. So there were two trays in here. They were both dirtied up because of the birds. We're gonna take them outside and actually get them cleaned up before we bring them. Why don't you go get some toys for Brando? How about that? Yeah. Cool. Merlin has his own special sound effect for George. He goes, because Merlin believes that George moves really fast and has made a sound effect for George, right, Merlin? Brando, here is the Brando update. Brando has decided I'm her mommy and the boys are much more exciting and she doesn't trust me in a way that like, she thinks I'm going to put her outside or I'm going to put her to bed outside, I mean in her aviary, when she wants to just stay in and cause trouble. And since, you see, so since I have to be the bad guy always because the boys are like, no, you put her away. She's at this point in her life where she thinks that I don't do any of the fun stuff, right? But she doesn't know that mommy's the one that gets her all the toys and mommy's the one that gets her all the stuff. We'll go watch George cleaning in a minute, but I wanna go over why these are the toys I chose for Brando specifically. You guys might remember in our old cage setup video why Brando does like some of these, or maybe in our toy haul why I chose certain toys for Brando. The first thing is Brando has to have something like this in her cage. This is called Rome. <laughs> I 
Florence or Venice because we made these special colors for Christmas. So the reason Brando has to have these in her cage or anything like it, a large toy that she can stand on. So at first glance, you wouldn't really think about buying something like this for a smaller bird, a ring neck or a mustache parakeet. But what I learned with Brando is she loves toys that she can stand on in her cage. So it's really interesting. It's a great toy for birds that are kind of beginners with wood because these tips are extremely easy to start chewing. And then as they get better, there's more and more wood blocks for them. She likes to sleep on things like this. Second toy is of course, a toy from our line called Don't Tell Brando. That's because there's candy in it and Brando, she's always after treats and sweets. Obviously we try not to give them to her so that's why it's called Don't Tell Brando. And Brando should definitely have one of her toys in the cage. You already know how I feel about this aglet. If you ever see it, you must buy it. It is on our site. It is available right now, hopefully still when this video comes out. We had a restock of these. If you see these anywhere, guaranteed your bird will love them. It's so cool for small birds, for big birds. For bigger birds, there's a bigger one, but this one is pretty good for Brando. This toy, because it's just so cute, it's called Ice Cream Sunday. You can put nuts and other things that you might want your bird to forage in here. That's why I like it. It's good for birds that like to start with paper and then the vine is easy and then the wood that is on here is pretty small. They're like essentially ice cream sticks. So it's just a beautiful toy. It's also on our site. So if you are interested in this toy by Rainbow Bird Toys, check it out. I love this toy. You saw me speak about it before. It's called Drift Away. I wish I could convey to you how easy it is to chew. It looks like Brando already got a little bit of it. I set these out for her and uh, she found them. And next we have Maraca Blast for your birds that like little pieces and things like that, little charms to get into. I love Maraca Blast. If you have a larger bird that likes things like this, we also have a toy called Charmed on our site. I know this can actually sound a little bit like an advertisement right now, but honestly, these are toys that exist these are toys that I want to let you know why my bird likes them because you might have a mustache parakeet or a ring neck or a small bird that likes these kinds of toys. So I just want to be honest with you and show you what they like and let you know that we do have them available as well as these perches. So you always want to put perches like these in the cage. We sell them online. So we're going to be putting these in Brando's cage and we'll see how Brando likes them. Well, actually I chose most of them because I know Brando likes them. Oh, oh. There she is right now. Is this you? Is this my Brando? Have you come to see what's happening? She just does what she wants all day. Don't you, you little spoiled bird. Do you guys want to see what Jersey's doing in the middle of this? Brando has a new cage. Brando has a new cage. Alert everyone, Jersey. Brando has a new house. Brando has a new house. Brando has a new house. My name is Jersey. I'm a donut thief. I love to have candy and other treats. When mommy's not here, daddy is the best because mommy hides everything and daddy shows me the treasure chest. Look, wait, I found something in George's garage. Some sort of fan. I need that for photo shoots. What, this? No, <laughs> not that. So how is the cage cleaning going? Looking good. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> done. All that extra work and everything that was done, nobody saw it. <laughs> You did good, George. Now we just need to wash it with water. So that way it's completely cleaned. Okay, Brando's missing, which makes me very suspicious. Oh, <gasps> Brando! Put that down. Put that down right now. A pencil. Brando? No. Did you wear 
are they? Right behind you. I did all that work and you're still behind? They're right here, George. Oh, so you got two done. I got four done. Oh, good. Where's the other four? I don't know. Where's the other two? One's in the sink. It doesn't no, look like that's put done. Uh huh. Yeah. You're the one, two, three, five. Yes. Here he is. He woke up, obviously. You just woke up from his nap. I feel like I've said this a lot, but worth saying it again. These are not doggy pee pads, these are incontinence pads for humans. What is daddy doing? Did he take your toys? Look what's happening. is okay, but we have to have other perches that are shaped differently. Wow, you're getting right to it. Okay. Yeah, yeah I ain't wasting no time. There's no rhyme or reason to the way you're doing this, George. No, it's, it's at the end of the here for First of all, she needs more purchase. Wait, she needs this. This is the most important piece, George. Okay, so what have you done here? You put a little perch and a bunch of toys around it, which I don't doubt Brando's gonna like, but we have to have more of a strategic setup. Now, don't forget, guys, once you set up your bird's cage and your bird goes in it, pay attention for a little while of how they move around. Is there something they want to get to that they can't? Have you forgotten to put a lead up to a water bowl or a swing or something that they otherwise wouldn't be able to reach? Just start paying attention to those things because then you'll start seeing how they move around in the cage and you can then adjust. What we have here is a water bottle. George wants to try it. She might like it. Not all birds know how to use it. They eventually learn. Rocky has one and Monty. Merlin knows how to use it. Merlin knows how to use it and Monty. Those are the birds that like to hang out in Rocky's cage. Rocky, for whatever reason, lets Monty hang out in his cage. He doesn't bother Monty at all. And I caught Monty using the water bottle. The thing with that is that you should know, yes. The thing you should know about these water bottles, just because they're there, doesn't mean you don't have to clean them out. You still have to clean them out and make sure that, you know, everything is running smoothly. And also the tips of these things have to be cleaned out as well. But they're kind of cool for like long term, but obviously I'm gonna give Brando both. I was wondering why you used to put these in upside down and then I realized why it's better because these things then have room. The pieces up here have room for ropes and stuff. Yeah, the top one we did that. Yeah, I thought that was smart of you. That's the only thing that you think that was smart of me? Yes. And then, now guys, check out the difference. When I go to hang things, like there's room up there. Oh. Wow, there's a lot of activity there, guys. That's what? Her playroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I made it like a little spot, like a little square. That's her playroom. She can like turn around and do every little thing, you know? And then we'll have another thing over here that kind of takes her from that playroom. It's like a staircase, you know? Just kind of make it spread out like that, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. So then it's kind of like she can just come down the stairs. Yeah. But we need a chain. No, you don't. This is a rope that you I know, I need a chain. No, you can, you don't have to. I need it to be longer. You want a chain chain? Some chain 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 chain. Okay guys, so George has been innovative here. He decided to turn Venice into a swing using this D-link and some chain. Now we're putting a birch at the front because we started noticing that a lot of our birds like to sit right here and get a bird's eye view of what's going on in the kitchen. She already has a perch here to lead to both of the food bowls. This perch here for like sanding down her nails. She's got her toys. That's her toy room, says George. She has a few different levels. It's like the new advanced uh, homes with like the special automated water. She's got staircases and all kinds of different things that were extra add-ons. Ended up making a staircase. I think you ended up making a swing. Swing to like uh, get down. She has access from We can still come. put another one of these kind of toys because this is a toy that she loves. What she likes is to stand on these toys. What'd you find? I got this guy. That's Tiger Tail Jr. This is perfect. We had it for like Thanksgiving November box. It's nice, right? Yeah. Wow. Wow, this is a busy, busy, busy toy jungle. She's not getting excited to see it? I don't know. Where is she? In the bag. Brando? Brando, I want to show you something. Baby. She's pretending like she's... She doesn't... Like we don't know she's there. <laughs> she's laughing. Hi there. Wanna come see your, your, your room? Come hey. see. What's up? Come. 
we got a surprise for you. What about over here? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Let's see how she baby. What do you think, baby? Here's how I'll know if she likes it. If I try to get her out and she doesn't want to come. Come on. Step up. Oh, yeah, she likes it. It's yours, baby. Okay. What do you have to say? You like your house? <gasps> Look what daddy's doing. <gasps> wow. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll give you some updates on how this uh, very, very busy cage works out. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this cage setup. I'd call it more of a... I have Georgie uh, do the cage. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't this video was great. It was a lot of fun, a lot of washing, Marlene really just filming, but... I'm gonna kill you. You know what, why don't you tell everybody how your closet is in color order because of It me. is in color order. Yeah, exactly. And, and who sets up all of your organization tools. Well, Love you guys so, so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out our other cage setup videos. This one's a little She's less so conventional, <laughs> but I think Brando's really excited about her cage. Let me know what you guys think. Follow me on Instagram. I'll keep you updated on uh, the cage. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.